Hi, this is Amy Lewis, and we're here with Pop Up Tech Talks. I'm with Dom. Dom, can you introduce yourself? Hey, Amy, how are you? Dom Delfino from VMware, and uh, I run sales and the system engineering team for NSX globally. All right, speaking of NSX, what is driving the adoption? Have we, have we gone over the tipping point for adoption with NSX? Well, that tipping point's always subjective, so we don't know until we've gone over it yet. But, uh, you know, I think, I think you heard a lot this week about uh, sort of what we're doing with cross-cloud, um, what we're doing with both IBM SoftLayer and now AWS in addition to them as well. Uh, you know, those, those both announcements coming between the VMworld in the Americas and VMworld in, in, uh, in EMEA. Um, but I think, you know, when I really look at what's driving the adoption, so we sort of have three major use case areas. Um, security, automation, and then multi-data center. And multi-data center sort of ties into the cross-cloud, AWS, IBM, software uh, strategy. But I think really when you look at it from a business perspective in terms of what's driving the adoption, it's security and compliance, actually. So when you look at the... Um, so I know those are so hot, to those are hot topics all the time. What 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 is the break point for people? When are, are people becoming comfortable or is or do we all live in a state of security through obscurity, et cetera, et cetera? It's just such a hot thing right now. Yeah, I think people have become very uncomfortable because now you not only have the normal uh, traditional security drivers like the threat of breaches and ransomware and denial of service attacks, but you also have the regulatory compliance that's uh, that's that's driving that from the business side as well. It's HIPAA, it's PCI, and those have been there for a long time. But now you talk about GDPR, which is a new uh, compliance regulation coming in May of 2018, specifically for the European Union. So, so they're starting. You know, the technologists and the infosec people always understood what the problem has. Maybe they didn't have the budget or the resources because the business people didn't understand it. But now you really have the business people starting to see not only the publicity and the scope of the threats and the, and the breaches that have been out there, but also their understanding of how, man, if, if I'm non-compliant with the regulations and I get breached, I'm really, really in big trouble here. So, um, and the reason NSX is, 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 is being, you know, is at the forefront of that now is because of the sophistication, of the simplicity, of how to get compliant and get uh, very, very much hardened infrastructure security um, in, in, a, in a very simple to use distributed way, so. So to make your data work for you instead of become a liability, I think it's something that we hadn't thought about necessarily when we entered down this path of modernity of how much data was going to become a burden and a weight because of issues like compliance and security threat. Yeah, and, and I think the liability part of this is, compete, is, is really key. I think, you know, people didn't realize how liable they might be until they got exposed or breached. And now that other people have heard those stories, other business leaders have seen what's happened to some of the, the major corporations who have um, been breached and the liabilities and the cost associated with that, not only in terms of brand and reputation, but hard dollars and even jobs for some of those leaders of those businesses as well. So, I mean, um, uh, you know, you see Yahoo, 500 million users data. You know, this is, you know, I don't want to pick on Yahoo in particular. It's just another example of what we see going on in a, a daily and weekly basis. Your good friends at the DNC got hacked again and WikiLeaks and I mean, you know, I, I like to make fun of you on that one, Amy. But, um, you know, it, it, it is a huge challenge, right? And when we look at legacy network architecture, um, the ability to move uh, freely and uninhibited once inside an infrastructure is a massive gaping security hole and that, that's really what our customers are trying to adjust and that's that's what we're helping them with now. So if you got out your crystal ball, what would you say we can look for in 2016? What is uh, what is going to be the disrupting factor? I know it, with the adoption of NSX you are, are looking to solve a lot of those, those issues that customers have, resolve and provide that level of compliance and security. What else do you see coming for us in 2016? You know, and I think it's, it's you know, as we talk about hybrid cloud, and I hate all these marketing terms that people come up with, but... Wait, wait are you an engineer? Uh, yeah, still an engineer. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think um, as we look at cloud adoption, and, uh, you know, I had dinner with a couple of great customers last night, and the complexities associated with, you know, third-gen apps being developed natively in the cloud, and then legacy workloads on-prem, and um, how do I get some really what I would call cloud extensibility, right? How do I get, you know, some common architectural elements across my private cloud and, and, and my public cloud providers? How do I move workloads back and forth between the two? Um, how do I have a common day two operations model for those two? These are all things that our customers are struggling with right now. And I think, you know, you're going to see the next wave of NSX and VMware 
with STDC as a service and vCloud Foundation and all of these great technologies that we're introducing, start to go after the simplification of those environments. Because right now, that's, that's, a, that's a pretty big, hairy, ugly problem for a lot of our customers as well. So, so software rules the world, developers are king? Software eats hardware every day of the week. <laughs> All right, on that note. We're a company, aren't they? Yes, they are. We are. Yes. Welcome to our data fabric. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I like that. That was, that was a commercial. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Tom. All right, great to see you, Amy. Thanks. We'll see you next time on Pop-Up Tech Talks.